Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel and it's that time again for the Scrawler Box. Scrawler Box is a monthly art subscription box. It arrives every month, I think it's eighteen ninety five, but if you pay annually you get it cheaper and you get some nice goodies in, usually. Um, it feels... oh, when I first picked it up I thought it was lightweight, but... It's got some weight to it, and it's busting out of its seams. So, and um, we got a dispatch email saying it was getting, uh, getting dispatched. It's been dispatched, obviously. Um, it's the twenty sixth today, but I get this delivered to my parents' house, so I'm not sure. Where. I forgot to ask when it arrived. So enough blabbering on. Let's get into it. Yes, I've blacked out my address. Oh, look. Oh. I'm having difficulties getting into parcels, as you can see. Broke all my nails. And... What's wrong? I can't get into it. There's... Oh, look. Wait, just pause you for a sec. That was an absolute nightmare to get into. The usual strip at the bottom wasn't working, so I've had to rip the whole thing off the bottom. Right. I've seen something sparkly from underneath, but it's probably my eyes. Let's move the art supplies to one side, and let me try and guess what it is. Oh, it looks like watercolour. <gasps> Hope it is. Love watercolour. Oh, and these are greens and blues. Love green. Right, oh look at that, that's nice. And this is a leaf. Let me see, go in a bit. Sorry about the shadow, I've got my strip light on. Terry Lemon is a Brighton based artist inspired by travel and responding to local plant life, landscape, and histories. She loves materials and articulates her research in multidiscipline practice, including sculpture, oh, sculpture, painting, drawing and collage. Although diverse, these outcomes have common roots, examining and inventing native invasion plant spe invasive plant species, like weeds, to reflect issues of the climate change, migrations by or oh, that's just all going over my head, that. Her artwork and ideas are commissioned by architects, developers and luxury brands. brands and I'm not going to go into it. Oh, Swarovski. A website is... The, I'll check that out later. And it's Scrawlerbox number 90. I wonder why they started doing numbers. That's what um, is upgrade, is that, isn't it? Right, so let's get the box to one side. Oh, wait. Info here. 1% for the planet. Trees for the future. I don't know if it's every box or every... Oh, I'll have to pause you. A noisy person coming in the door. That was my partner coming in the door. He gets very chatty. Right, let's see. So what have we got here? And it's wrapped up. It's never normally wrapped up. Right. And take glasses off. Canson. A manufacture deepest. 1557. Extra large. Textured. Multi-technique. Mixed media paper. I enjoy that type of paper. Let's see. Oh, no. This is strange. It reminds me of... Um, what do you call it? Acrylic? Can you see with the lines, the grooves? I don't know if you can see. Uh, yeah, it reminds me of uh, acrylic paper. But it looks like watercolour. Unless it's um, acrylic, and yeah, because that makes me acrylics for water. So this is A5, 300 GSM, 184 pounds. And that's the toilet going in the background. <laughs> Get rid of this rubbish. 
Eh, all I ask is five minutes peace and quiet. Don't get it. Right, let's get into the supplies. Right, move that to one side. Oops, I don't see. And this is, I thought that was a print stick. Yes, it is acrylic. Hmm, well that does look like watercolour, doesn't it? But the paper is acrylic paper. Yeah, well you can mix up the water, so... Let's move this tissue paper out of the way. Oh, and is that sweet, a lemon sherbet? Looks like a lemon sherbet. Oh, look at my nails, dreadful. They were lovely. Right, so these, we got these in a box before, uh, System 3, but they were in um, met those little metal tubes. Dale Rowney, lemon yellow, oh, to go with a lemon sweet. And this is a white. Oh, no, oh. Never mind. A white. I would have preferred a red, but never mind. At least I'll be able to get a green with the blue and the yellow. Yes, yeah, so the System 3 Fluid Acrylic. Titanium white. And this is Cerulean Blue Hue and Lemon Yellow. And what is this? Just a black marker. Mark all graduate black yeah Lyra I suppose that's just like a Posca black marker hmm. and this is the sticker and this is a, is there a dagger paint brush hmm. Princeton Angular Shader. Oh. Quarter. Angular Shader. Oh. Right. Oh. Right. Organic Origins. And that is the prompt. Prompt. Oh, well, uh. I must admit, Scrawlerbox do have some really good prompts. Deep rooted in nature stems from, from an ambience of inspiration. This box is all about embracing your surroundings to see what natural formations you can create. Paint, splat and pour your craft onto the page with your new supplies. Or just like Kerry Lemon. Oh yeah, that's funny. Lemon yellow and lemon sweet and Kerry Lemon. Our featured artist used a leaf. Well, did she splash her on? Um, no, it doesn't look like it's been splashed on, or does it? Hmm. Right. Let's see. So... What's that? That looks like a green. It looks like blue, white and green. But it's yellow. Um, proudly manufactured in the UK. Dale, Dale Rowney. Oh, well, I suppose if they wanted organic and everything, they wouldn't include a red, would they? But, I mean, you get red flowers. Maybe just like leafy stuff they want. Where was I at? Multi-surface pigment-based acrylic paint. Featuring a smooth, opaque and creamy consistency. They offer high-intensity pigment with great coverage that maintains depth of colour and vibrancy even when diluted. These paints can be used in so many ways. Use directly from the tube or mix onto a palette. 
pour it, puddle it, drop it, splash it for expressive work, and it can be dragged and painted for more traditional work. This fluid acrylic is also suitable for airbrushes. Ooh! I've just got an airbrush. But I've got the proper paint for it. Um, so that retails for £3.79 a tube. Uh, Lyra graduate, graduate Mark All Black. The Lyra permanent marker ensures every creation lasts for a long time. Once fully dry, the water-based ink dries opaque and super permanent which means it will not smudge or fade into the water. It will not fade in water or sunlight, featuring a high quality 1mm bullet nib from a durable fibre, and that is priced at £3.63. The Princeton, Princeton Select Synthetic Paint Brush Short Angular Shader. This is part of a select artist series it's synthetic brush that is great for all your decorative and technical paint needs ideal for use with watercolors oils and acrylic paints a variety of synthetic and natural hair and natural hair um where was i up to the short handled select brush with their distinctive shapes allow you to be truly uh, to truly express your creativity and that is priced at £4.40 which is expensive in my opinion. Canson Mix Media A5 Sketch Pad. Anything is possible with the Mix Media Pad spiral bound for ease of use. This pad is suitable for a wide range of creative techniques. This paper is ideal for wet media such as watercolour, gouache and acrylic paints, featuring acid free medium grain smooth white paper in a nice and thick 300 GSM weight. This pad is mould made with a can't pronounce that in air machine. A technique from the 19th century allowing constant quality paper. And that is priced at £5.20. I'm not really feeling it, but you never know. Let's get into the magazine. I'll have to have a slap. Right. Let's get into the magazine. Am I too far and go out a bit? Right. Well, I do like the way it looks like watercolour. I mean, even when we got some acrylic pens, I mixed it with water. Sweet treat. Yeah, it is a sherbet lemon. Oh, they're quite nice, them. Gluten-free, vegan. They take all the good stuff out of it. What's that? Gelatine free. <sighs> I'm still not uh, feeling it. Right, so that's the artist, Kerry Lemon. Um, and that's her art. Well, she's used black. Mm. I mean, it is nice, but oh, I don't like all the black. That's really nice. I like that. Hmm. Things to try. Get swatching. This is where you can properly gauge the texture and colour of the drying time of the paints before you start. Yes, that's what I think I'll be using mine, like a creative wash. Is that adding salt? Yes. I added salt in a recent paint that I did, but um, I must have added it too late because it didn't leave much effect. Add white. Adding, 
adding in more of white two colours will make them more opaque add a touch in for opacity or add in a tad more to create a creamy version of the colour you want hmm. Artist's advice. Oh, look, she's showing you how to do the leaf. Oh, yeah, you could use that, um, this white for highlights, like a gel pen. Hmm. Oh, look, isn't this colourful? This is from... When was it? December. Oh, and the gorgeous. Katie Riles. Congrats. Well, I better right. Um. Carmel. Congratulations, Carmel. Sparrowlish is what her name. I'll have to look hers up. Oh, and the gorgeous. Just love all that colour. So vibrant. <sighs> oh, is this a top three? I think we got an email about that. Yeah, I really like that one. Fingerprints of nature. All right. So that is that. So this is what we got in the scroller box and I'm still not feeling it, but I will definitely be making an effort. Oh no. And that lovely artwork. So, organic origins. Origins. Anyway, thank you for watching. Johnny signing out. See you bye.